Hey everybody, my name is Phil Swanson, Senior Director of Fleet here at Generac Clean Energy, and I'm back with PowerCell Pro Tips. Today's topic is low rebus voltage. Let's get started. Low rebus voltage waiting and standby are not considered error states. These are states that occur when the inverter is unable to connect to the grid, typically due to an issue with AC power. Before moving forward, ensure all inverter settings are correct for your configuration specifically the grid profiles, and ensure all AC wiring is connected correctly and securely. Most AC interconnection issues can quickly be diagnosed using the installer tool. So grab a computer or your phone, go to the installer tool, click on the inverter, inverter status, and then AC line status. Next, let's look at the inverter split phase section of the installer tool. To access, go to the installer tool, click on inverter, and then inverter split phase. This section will display live AC power measurements at the time the page is loaded. It's important to remember that the inverter will only operate within the specified AC voltage and frequency ranges which are determined by the grid profile that you select. If any of the values are more than 5% off the measurements at the inverter AC terminals, contact our tech support team for further troubleshooting. Otherwise, it's recommended to confirm you're measuring the same AC readings at the main service panel. Reading the same voltage and frequency at both locations is a good sign that the AC wiring between the power cell inverter and the utility service is connected correctly and securely. However, if the AC measurements in the main service panel are outside the power cell interconnection ranges, the utility must be contacted to correct the issue before proceeding with the installation. And finally, if you're still having issues after these troubleshooting tips, give our tech support team a call and we'd be happy to help. We'll see you next time on PowerCell Pro Tips. Thanks.